up gamers on this series i'm going to play new games that were just released and rate them scientifically to those who don't know me this is your gamer body crimson your certified pro gaming analyst let's start with the hot topic which is pacific drive which and just released a few days ago so i downloaded it because i saw a lot of youtubers playing it like it's gonna be a suspense game so i purchased it from steam which is 819 pesos or around 15 dollars I just closed my eyes and swiped my card. Now first reaction of the game. The heck, it was just mostly driving. Is it a driving simulator? I should have thought about it. The title of the game is Specific Drive. From the word drive already should have been very obvious. But let's just have fun first and see how it goes. So I drive and drive and drive a lot. So I got bored easily and just drunk drinking and singing while driving. <laughs> Also, how I score the game is based on how many stars, which are the following. Price, graphics, gameplay, content, and if I enjoyed the game. I thought it was all just driving on the road. The graphics kind of bit look cool because it was made by Unreal Engine. But there's actually a bit surprise element to the game where you are chased by something that you don't see like a radiation area or kind of bit alien. Or you know, the thing outside the map of a battle royale when time is running out. That kind of thing. Now, once you find a car, you're going to need to take care of it and have it delivered to the annoying guy who keeps on calling you on the intercom. In the outer zone. Okay. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. So you need to gather parts, salvage from old cars like fuel, metals, and other things to craft certain things. Oh, I forgot to mention that you can replace the parts of your car by crafting and now from driving stimulator to crafting game and going to a car mechanic game. Once you're able to fix your car, you can then select which you want to go and then you'll encounter some anomalies. Pick up some leftover parts or even canned goods where you bring them on your track and store it there. There will be a lady who will assist you and guide you to what you need to bring back to your car or the safe camp. Those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. Also, we need to be careful with the electric towers that will sap your health points out of you. Ah! So you need to craft something that breaks the big battery beside it to turn it off. And do it all over again. Aside from those towers, you need to evade those alien floating things that are like an AI going back and forth. What's that? Holy crap! After that, you need to get something like from the Return of the Mummy movie artifact where it will show on your map and you need to put it on your car's device. Whenever you do that, you need to run because this will happen to you. Oh no! Once you get all of them, you need to go to an anchor point where you need to be near it before you press the return button. But because I just played the game, I just pressed the things I want to press and this is the result. Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Whoa! What? Where? 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 Where do we go? Oh no! Oh no! What did I do? Are you dying? Ano to? Oh! Yamete! We are dying! 
I died without knowing what just happened. Then you actually revive and go back to the same camp or garage. Car was last pinged at... Huh? You're back at the garage? How could that be? Oh, the car got you back somehow. But when I check all the stuff that I looted, which I did some hard work for it, they are all gone. And that's why I decided to press Alt F4. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Now to give you score. It's actually fun and you won't notice that you're already spending a lot of hours on the game. Price for the game? I would say half a star cause it's almost the price of the game like Pal World. But there are games that have similar ideas but don't have the price. Graphics is good because it was made using Unreal Engine which is the meta for gaming industry nowadays. Gameplay is good as well smooth and it's slightly challenging specifically if you're new to this type of game genre. Content, yes it's good. Like I said, I thought it was just all driving stimulator but they actually added a, a lot of elements such as crafting, mechanic, looting, survival, and challenging. Overall for the Pacific Drive, I would say I'll give it a 4.5 star and I can recommend the game to you if you want to play it for hours and hours and if you want more content like this hit that subscribe and like it's free and you can see more of this comment down the name of the game if you want me to review it see ya gamers see ya next time